Kia ora guys, gals and legionnaires. Rikon here and welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. We're back with Akira, back at our chemist station, our temporary home where we might end up having to sleep. However, eventually we're going to become very thirsty and hungry, so we need to try and work through this place as quickly as we can. Trying to find a way to survive down here is not going to be easy. And so with that, we're going to be crafting ourselves a torch today and heading into the dark. And so with that, let us dive on in. Okay, so we're going to start crafting right away to get this thing done so let's go ahead and have a look torch um oh no why don't we not have anything oh i was grabbing the wrong one trans what oh hang on hang on hang on no everything's gone everything's gone again no how it's this station <laughs> uh, so that's probably what was happening the first time that with Raphael as well, is that I was freaking out thinking, oh my god, everything's disappeared. There's cabinets under here, there's a chem station, and they're on either side. So it's very easy for us to get mixed up on which side we're working. Okay. Ooh, don't panic, Rikon. Everything is still there. Go back to craft. Okay. Now, because there isn't a workbench nearby, these aren't linked together. So that's kind of what was going on there. Okay, I can I cannot panic. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a torch as it's going to be a necessary thing for us going into the dark today. I would like to wait and just craft a lantern, but we could be waiting for a long time. We don't know if a screw is going to turn up anywhere at all. So with this, this is going to allow us to uh, see in the dark, essentially. Um, it doesn't do terrible damage. It actually does um, some burning damage as well. So it's kind of almost worth us leaving the lead pipe behind and just going in favor of the torch, at least for the time being. I'm tempted to do it. I'm tempted. I'm definitely tempted. It's going to be better for us um, weight-wise, so... Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's freaking do that thing. Uh, not not that thing, but the other thing. Yeah, if we could. We'll, we'll get there. Take a second for the animation to stop. There we go, Akira. Okay, let's go ahead. We're going to transfer. We are going to leave behind a lead pipe. Yeah, okay. We'll keep the Molotovs with us. We'll keep the Toxic Cocktail with us as well, but we're going to keep the the caltrops on the go for now did i actually give that torch a number i don't think i did no oh i did okay but we're gonna go ahead and make it two for now we'll go and wield it and we can see that we can see just a little bit better it's not amazing but we can see around our feet and i know that might not seem like a big deal but it's a that's a big deal can make all the difference so we're going to be continuing down the blue line today seeing well, what more there is to see. Going through that darkness. Now, the only thing that I'm afraid of is that the light that this is casting actually is kind of within the range of mines. So even if it does highlight mines, it might be too close. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not super happy about it. We're going to we're going to carry on past this lot. And just see what's out here. We're going to be going nice and slow through this area. Just to see what pops up. Because, well, the tracks down here are always dangerous. And this is something that I would assume that Akira would also be aware of. That these places, the underground, is dangerous. Because that's where the majority of the population is choosing to survive. Or rather, trying to survive. Okay, I'm getting very nervous around rubble like this. Okay, just getting ready to turn tail. If we hear any sign of a boom. Well, since you've got two options, right? You can run over, try and get rid of it as quickly as possible, or run away. And the improvised, the improvised explosives in this are very well hidden. And I can't for the life of me remember what sections are actually <laughs> rigged up to explode and what aren't. So very cautiously, we will take measured steps. Just like Forks would want us to. 
Okay. This way. Okay. I'm listening. That... That's the kind of totem that the Molden men would leave. Okay. Hello, you. We're gonna go and grab this person by their legs. And drag them away from there. Let's see if we can actually have a look at their face. They are an Alliance volunteer, and... I don't know if it's me, or if they're incredibly burnt and... Yeah, not looking as nice. Now, this Alliance Fatigues, that's going to give us some extra storage, I believe, because I think they have a, it has a miniature backpack on, on the back of it, so we're going to be rocking with that right away. We're also going to be taking that as well, and you know what? We're going to take the red bandana because that's doing damage resistance. We might even take the welding helmet as well. Yeah. Oh yeah, his face was uh, pretty well beaten up. The rest of his body seemed to be pretty well protected. So let's go ahead and look at getting this stuff on. Alliance Fatigues. You see it's going to cover everything. It's going to give us a point of agility. Going to hold on to those ragged leathers for now. Put that red bandana on. And we're also going to put this welding helmet on as well. Let's see, how are we looking? Interesting, to say the least. Interesting. We're actually disguised as an Alliance member. Okay. Okay, and we can see that our encumbrance is up at 75, whereas without it, it's 60. So it gives us an additional tw an additional 15, which is okay, considering the weight is 4. So it is actually giving us a bonus by wearing this. So with that, let's continue on into the dark. Uh, but not before we go ahead and read what his uh, mission might have been. And that was under here. Explosives Retrieval. Let's see. The bombs are stashed right at the front entrance. You'll need to dodge by whatever traps they have, whatever guards they've assigned it. It won't be easy. I know I don't need to explain to you how dangerous this mission is, but this is our only hope. We can't take downtown until they... until we know they can't collapse everything in the process. We're fighting a madman, Don. This is the only way. So I'm assuming that's Don down there. And Don... Don didn't make it. And judging by the lack of explosives on his body, I'd say he didn't succeed at his mission. Is there anything either side of this that we can see or do? There very well might be over that side there. We'll have a peek either side. No. No, and there's nothing down there either. Noted. Where to? Quiet key. Pick this. Upper blue. Upper blue. Okay. Well, that was successful, and that we managed to get some equipment from the sky. Don. Well, Don. Sorry. Uh, we're going to stick to the side because we walked this way before. We know essentially that this side of the subway is safe. As long as we stick to the same path we walked before, theoretically we should be safe. But then again, as no experience, sometimes things just, you know, they just reappear out of nowhere. And yeah, it's no good for no one. No good for no one. Yeah. Uh, we didn't actually go through here last time. With the danger, do not enter. Which, I mean, that sounds like sound advice to me. This also being a red line always makes me think of bad things. Okay. It is pickable. I'm actually going to put the torch away. Just to, well, for one, get rid of the noise. But also that we can focus and concentrate on this. Because this is our only bobby pin. We need to make this count. Okay. Okay, okay, that's right. Down a little bit. Nope, it's gonna be up. Okay, up a little bit more. Nope, okay, it's down. Down some more. 
Oh, come on, come on, come on. Okay, nope. It's somewhere in between here. You got the Sakura. Okay. Okay, but again, ready to turn tail as soon as we need to. Okay, I'm actually going to go to the crossbow at this point. Let's go ahead and get that loaded. Okay. Just ease it forward bit by bit. Again, my memory of this place is uh, certainly lacking. bit by bit. Okay, we're gonna take these cans. Right. Please, no traps. Okay, I do want to go back down there and try that. Ah, okay, now I remember. Yeah. Big wielders of guns. And potentially our friend. We do not want to piss these people off. Now they do have a cook station that we can use. And that's the thing is these colours, what they're wearing. I would think that um, Akira has seen these before. And that she'd know at the very least that they're not immediately going to be hostile towards her. With that, we're going to we're going to approach cautiously huh? hi <clears throat> huh? now we are wearing alliance fatigues at the moment I'm pretty sure which is obviously similar to what they're wearing it's a slightly different color though so <laughs> whatever reason maybe Akira yes. has been able to call out and say hey 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 I'm cool I'm cool yeah but I think all of them are going to be the same. None of them we can we can actually trade with. But what's great is that over here there is an armor bench and there is a weapons bench. Ah, I'm great. I'm great. Thank you. I'm I'm doing well. I hope you don't mind us using one of these. It's difficult to get by, you know. So, oh, that's just swell. Okay, so we can use these and not get murdered, which is great, which is fantastic. Uh, yes. Now. What can we change here? We can change quite a few things with our bow. Flaming standard. Okay. We need, so we need we need gun nuts to do a lot of this stuff. So we're going to see what's possible for us to do without it. Um, yes. We're on a standard stop, which is good. So it's actually giving us pretty good recoil, which uh, I am in favor of. We're not going to be able to change any of those, though. Gun nut three. Can be a bit difficult for us to get. Uh, strings though, strings we can change. So if we got some adhesive and some leather, we would be able to go out to a medium string. This guy behind us is getting a little annoying. Um, as for these, I would like to get a sight on here. Um, a scope would be fun. A short scope would kind of be doable. Um, I don't think we want anything too crazy. So just some glass and some adhesive. You know what? We probably have a lot of these things. The only thing that we don't have, we've got glass. The only thing we don't have is screws. Screws and adhesive, still going to be the thing that we struggle with. And finally, muzzle. Um, imagining they're things, yeah, yes. that we can stab, put onto the end of it so we can stab with them. Okay, noted. Noted. I don't think we're going to be adding anything just because it adds weight there. So, yeah, that's that's unlikely. Now, the armor bench, I don't think we... We might actually still have those leathers, so we should be able to go and scrap them. Uh, looks like we, yes. uh, we can only touch the pit boy here, though. Weirdly enough. Okay, so we're not gonna we're not gonna touch the pit boy. Um, unfortunately, yeah, we're not gonna be able to scrap the armor. Um, the only way we could do that is if we had a workbench, if we actually had uh, a proper area around us. Now, because of conquest, we can potentially do that. I do have conquest going, um, but we need to be doing that near a bench. Um, that's that's the kind of ruling I've set for it myself. So, yeah. We have access to those, that's great. We can bring our other weapons up here. We can scrap them, get some resources back from them. So we're probably gonna do that. Um, but as to what's next for us, I don't think going down either of those ways is something that we'd want to do. I don't yes. think we can even get down that way. So, we're gonna move along. That food looks 
awesomely tempting, but we're not going to touch their food. So let's um, let's cautiously walk along here for now. And we're going to stay walking straight up just for the time being. Okay, all right. I'm going to go and get our old flame out so I can see a little bit better. And we're actually just going to do a walk for now, but we're still going to stay standing up. Okay, okay, I think I can remember what's down this way. We've got our uh, collapsed subway. Yeah, so I'm imagining that's semi what's happened in the past is that um, the Federation have been the ones that have been um, doing this. It's to stop the Alliance from getting through. And our man that we found, Don, he was wearing Alliance Fatigues. So all the way up there we have a subway cart, which we can actually jump up to. I did that with Raphael, but there's not going to be much there for us, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to go leave that behind, and we are going to work our way back. And it doesn't look like they've left anything for us here. So we'll just work our way on back, going the similar way to what we went before. We know that... We know that the Federation are here now, so we can come up here to work on our armor, work on our weapons, which is really good. We have a space to do that, and, well, if we are careful, we might actually even be able to take some things from them. Uh, there was another door here, though, a door that we just might be able to get open. I, I hate having one bobby pin. I hate and love it at the same time, because it makes me super freaking nervous about it, obviously. Okay, got a little bit of go there. Okay, back. Oh, no, no, definitely this way, okay. Okay, a bit further. Okay, no, no, it's going to be back. So it's going to be in and around this region. Come on, where do you want me to go? Up. Oh, come on. Oh, no! Oh my god, oh my god. We were being so careful. It's gotta be chance, because we weren't even tapping it then. Oh my god. No, that is the worst thing that could have happened. But there you go, they're not invincible. They are not invincible. It can, and it does happen. We were very lucky with every other character that's come so far, with that first bobby pin not breaking it. And I felt like we were being super cautious there. We only tapped it like once or twice. We got nothing. We had a bobby pin. We got nothing. That is, uh... Wow, that... It's no good, because, um... There is a number of potential goodies behind that door that I would love to get to. However, we ain't gonna be able to get to them. So, that is very, very, very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Okay. Well. What are we gonna do then, huh? We got what we need from that way. So that's us. That's us essentially done on this side for the time being. Now we could go further down this way. We could explore and see what's down there. I do know what's there. And I'm sure many of you know what's awaiting us as well. And, uh, well, that's not exactly going to be an easy thing to uh, take care of. Um, what might be the best thing for us to do is to try and run over some of our gear some of our weapons to see if we can uh, get some resources back from them by taking them to the weapons bench and essentially taking them apart. And I think that's probably what we're going to do here. It's going to be the smartest thing we can do. So let's go ahead, open the door to home, and it should be this one that we... <laughs> this one that we... Yes, it's this one that we're using. Okay. All right, so with that being the case, let's go take the baseball bats. We'll take the two lead pipes, and we'll also take the knuckles as well. Um, is there anything else that we want to bring across with us? So that's the glass that we'd need for a scope, but we still don't have any screws. That's the issue. So I don't think there's going to be anything there that could potentially help us out. We need nuclear material for another kind of basic site, so I just I don't see that happening. I mean, we could we could take everything for now and then come back. What if we go take all? How much is that going to screw us up? 
Apparently not that much. No, we're fine. So let's let's take everything for now. I'm fine with doing that. And I don't think I don't think we missed anything in here. We'll have a look with the torch. Just to be certain. Oh, you've gone and moved around, haven't you? That's not unsettling at all, is it? Oh, you've moved around as well. Okay. Intriguing. Oh, and so so have you. Okay, so there was an earthquake while we were gone. <laughs> Intriguing. Okay. Anything stashed away in you? No. Nope. Doesn't sound like it. Fine. Fine. We're carrying on. Go put that away just because it's noisy. And let's make our way to that weapons bench. So. We're. We're doing okay so far. We haven't had any status effects hit us, which is good. But eventually they are going to start to affect us, and um, when they do, we know how quickly they can stack up on top of one another. Luckily, our endurance is quite high, so our HP is already looking pretty good. Akira's tough. She can survive a lot. She has survived a lot so far. Hello again. Now, I don't know if we can get away with sleeping on their mattresses yes. as well. I'm just moving through. Weapons bench. Let's see. Now, the baseball bat, kind of half tempted. I'm half tempted to keep that around. With it being a slow weapon, though, I'm just I'm not so sure because we know how quick you need to be in this, and I just don't see that happening here. Um, so, let's see. We're just going to get literally just steel? Okay, fine. I, I, I'm okay with that. Um, we can make some upgrades to the lead pipe, but I don't think... I don't think that's going to really do us. And plus, it's using all those screws, so... No, I don't see us doing that. So let's go get rid of that for now. Um, let's see. I'm going to get rid of the bat that's going to give us some wood. The knuckles, I'm half tempted to keep just because they're so small. Um, let's see about modifying them. Okay. It's not actually that difficult. Yeah. Kind of half tempted to keep those going. You know what, we're going to keep those for now. That's going to be one of our, our main melee weapons, I think. Yeah, we'll see how that works. Um, I don't think there were any other armors that we picked up. We'll just have a quick look. Nope, it's just the Pip-Boy. So let's go exit the station. Yeah. That's everything that we can do at this stage. So we're going to have to leave this behind again. I'm going to run back with what equipment we have so far and go and drop it back down there. And that really leads us with only one way forward. And that's to continue down the line. And what's uh, scary about that is there's a decent amount of people that are essentially blocking our way. They are farmers, they are survivors, but I imagine they would think that anyone that's trying to pass through is uh, not so nice. I mean, we can try. We can try to move through without causing a fuss, but there's a good chance that they are going to be fussing. We're going to store all of our junk for now, and is there anything else that we want to drop back in here? We're going to keep all these drugs around for the time being, and you know what, the extra the extra armor and the rest we're going to drop in there, but um, yeah, we're not going to be able to do too much with them, unfortunately, because we, we would be able to get leather from that. We're just going to go ahead and store that for now, and store the tattered rags. We'll keep the smiley hood just in case we do find a way to the surface that we didn't know about before. And we'll keep everything else handy as well for the time being. Go and select those knuckles. Actually, well, that's not how we're going to do that. We'll get moving anyway. Okay. Yes, that's fantastic. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. Let's just uh, get a feel for the swing of these. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a... Oh, I actually kind of like it for like hitting heads. That's, that's not bad, right? And then like a block, you know, the block is pretty fierce, you know? Ooh! Kinda like that, Akira. Yeah, we could end up giving that a go. Um, now, in saying all of this, though, was there a way up here? There is. No, that's the, the ghouls and... Okay, okay, alright. Yeah. And that's kinda also a no. Well, we could go and collect some explosives, potentially. And you know what, I think we're going to do that before we try and take care of a great big group of people. I think that's a safer option for us. Um, yeah. Now, 
I know there's explosives. Uh, Akira might think that there could be. She knows that there have been... Well, we got warned about the explosives from that message, so she knows somewhere around here someone has been planting explosives. The question, of course, is where? And that's what we're going to try and answer now. Uh, and also, I, I really don't know about this torch. I feel like... I feel like the torch might actually be working against us here. Because we can kind of see in the shade, you know? I'm going to put it away for a second, just see what our sight's like. You know what? We can actually see a little bit better. Where I'm going to be using it is once we start to get closer to darker areas like this. <sighs> okay. And we can see that it's just the charred remains of people. And that's the kind of thing that I think that's really, really going to be playing on her psyche right now. Because it's a very, very similar fate to what her family found. Yeah. Okay. Watching out for anything bad. Okay, so we have all of those ghoul bodies up ahead. From memory, that's where some very mean people have planted some explosives. However, I'll be trying not to use any of that knowledge and... Well, I mean... We can see them. We can see them. And I don't know, for the life of me, how or if there are any... So I think we've got one, two, three. I think there's one beneath his leg there. It's very hard to tell. But what I'm going to try and do is pull this guy along. And pull him away from the mine, if that's even possible. I don't know what the range of those is like. I also don't know what the range for us to grab him is like. Oh, I do not like this. Oh, okay. Okay. Very easy. Nice. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Okay. Alright. Okay, the heads of these are already missing. I'm going to take those pack of cigarettes. I'm going to see if we can undo that one. The only thing that makes me seriously panic, though, is if they are close enough to each other to go off, and there's always a chance. Okay, so we need to be essentially sprinting. <sighs> okay, and there's another one behind him there. Okay. Okay, so we've got ourselves a frag mine. That is, that's really good. The explosives in this is, they're, they're so <laughs> insanely deadly. 400 damage. It's a big deal. That could help us against absolutely anything or anyone. I'm kind of afraid. Okay, so someone had opened that. Okay, we can kind of almost stand up there as well. I want to move this guy because I'm not trusting this at all right now. Okay. Yeah, it's like your head's still kind of there. It's like a known error with frost, but we'll just go with it. We're definitely going to be taking plastic now because plastic is what we use for our bolts, so very, very helpful. Um, you though, you good sir, we're going to drag you away. Oh my god, he's got a bobby pin. Oh, praise the lords of frost, and that's when we die. <laughs> no. Okay. We've got a bobby pin. That is some fantastic news. And an oil can as well. That is brilliant. Okay, very, very happy about that. Anything in this fridge? No. Okay, so, look, I think that that one's close enough that it might go off, and that, that, that I'm not happy about. But I'm going to try and go for this one. I just, I don't know. I'm really feeling... I feel like if we're going to risk it, we need to risk it now. Okay, okay, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Can we get that one, though? I, it's in such a niggly place, I don't think I want to take the chance on it. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to use a, I'm going to use a bolt to get rid of this final one. I just, I don't trust, I don't trust that we're going to be able to get that. Ekira has had some very fast reflexes so far, but I just do not trust that she's going to be able to get that. Now, if we're going to be able to hit this, this is an entirely different story. I'm going to back right up because I do not know about the radiuses. They may have changed. Okay. Okay. Hi, we're here. I'm just announcing our presence. Just so you know. Now, if I wind you away and then put you down, take you back out. Yeah, you're still loaded. That's good. Okay. Alright, we're going to move up towards this. There's like a 
a minuscule chance that that bolt survived. Um, it probably didn't. No, it doesn't look like it did. Now, it's probably in the world somewhere. It might have embedded itself in the ceiling. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of glad it, does, it has disappeared because it should have exploded <laughs> and disappeared with that. Now, I'm going to take my torch back out here. Um, and I'm just going to take a few steps very cautiously. Put it down. Step again. Just because there could be something hiding by the rails. And I don't fully trust that. Okay. Right. What do we got? Master lock downtown. Okay. So that ain't going to happen. But the good thing is we have ourselves a bobby pin. And I am very, 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 very happy about that. So we're going to go and wander on back. Essentially kind of along the same way that we just came. Oh. Oh. Okay. That scared me a lot. That scared me a lot. Now we went this way as well. So I'm just going to go back the same way that we came before. In the hopes that we're going to be fine. We're going to be safe. Now we can explore down that way as well. And there are... Um, well, again, this is what I know. Not what Akira knows. There are dogs down that way. Dogs that we can hunt for food. However, saying that, we need to have Hunter before we can actually get any food from them at all. So, don't think we're going to see that happen. But what we're going to do for now is we're actually going to head back to where that other set of doors are. And that's going to be heading back through here. Yeah, I'm just trying to follow, essentially, the map in my mind to reach them. So we're going to go down this way and follow up the other red line way. And we're going to have another attempt on this door, because I want to try and see if we can get it before this day is through. At least that's my goal. We'll see if we can actually achieve it. Because, I mean, heck, there's a chance I'm going to break this thing here. There's a good chance. We'll just go crouch, just in case anything changes. But we were so close before. We are so close with this lock. I, I know we can do it. I know you can do this, Akira. You've got it. This is the time. This is the moment. You will not be defeated. Is it going to be in the same place? Well, so far it seems to be. No, no, okay, we're going up. Okay. Okay. I think this might be directly up. Come on. Oh, come on, come on, please. Oh, not like this. So close, come on. I I can't find it. I can't find it. I uh, I'm I'm really struggling with this one. It's gotta be close, right? It, are we sure it's not directly up? I mean I'm sure I tried that. Where is it then? Oh my god. This is this is heartbreaking. Because I feel like we're so close to it. Oh my god, there it is. Sweet. Oh, okay. Now that was a lot of taps. That was a lot of taps. Okay, okay, okay. This, this is good. We've got Wonder Glue. Fantastic. Take that, screwdriver, service tunnel key. I don't think I ever actually found where that was for. The scalpel as well. We've got that. Used oil can. Uh, anything else on the floor before we have a look in that. We'll take the plunger as well. There's some wood in that. And potentially some rubber as well. Okay, let's see. We've got a blood pack, which is great. We've also got some cash. And some medics as well. So that is some awesome news. We're going to be taking all of that stuff back with us. We're going to be running on back home. And just, uh... And taking a bit of a breath. Because, uh... Today's been tense. Today's been very tense for me. Almost breaking locks, almost blowing our hands off, you know, th th those kind of things. <laughs> Whenever you're dealing with mines in this, it's always, it makes me anxious. So we've got two frag mines, and that can deal with, uh, well, people that want to cause us harm um, in an instant. Now, I don't know if I want to keep those in the cabinet, so I'm going to see if we are transferring them into the chem station here. So let's just go through to armor, uh, dropping that and the tattered rags pretty much always keep that with us frag frag mines we're going to keep with us for now though i, uh, I definitely think we're going to do that um everything else i think we're going to be holding on to as well so we do have a few different types of um meds now the whiskey 
again, I think we'll hold on to it um, just until we can actually get access to some water. And everything under MISC isn't really going to be weighing us down. It's mostly just uh, notes and rest. And well, in a similar place to where we finished before, um, I'd love if we could actually use that chair. Fortunately, we, we can't. Do we have any chairs we can use in here? No, we, we don't really have anywhere we can sit down. Well, you know what? We can crouch down here for the time being, take a breather, because I tell you what, I need to. And that is where we're going to be wrapping things up for today, guys and girls. Akira is slightly more armored than she was before, and, well, has access to explosives. Explosives that she will use should she need to. She wants out of this place. And, well, I think the largest part of her wants to track down Janice. The man who trapped her here for who knows how long. We never did find out that with Raphael. There is so much more to see down here. And we're going to attempt to see it. Thank you all for joining me. I have been Rykon. You have all been awesome. And until next time, stay tuned.